What's happening fam? Jay Sinister back again and about to hit you for another video. But before we get into that, let me remind you, the G Made Buffalo Christmas holiday giveaway build is still going strong. My man Icons RC has the body in hand, is working on the paint, and I'm getting the chassis together. Only stalled out right now because I'm waiting on some overdrive gears to arrive, but once they do, I'll start putting out more videos for that. So remember, go back to the previous two videos. I'll link up the playlist now so you can go back and check those videos, figure out what you need to do to enter, and hopefully you can win. But today's video is on something totally different, but we're gonna take a step in the past and do an upgrade, so to speak, to one of the favorites out there. So if you will stick around, see what that's about. Hey, I suggest you hang out until after we Roll that intro footage. All right, fam, back again. Hey, before we jump into the topic of this video, which is the Sin F450, let me again thank each and every one of you for helping Jay Sinister Productions progress to the status at which we are at now. Without any of you, this wouldn't be possible, for so my thanks always goes out to each and every one of you. And hey, help out the channel. If you like what you see, like, especially comment. Above all, subscribe to the channel. And check out all my links because there's other ways you can help the channel. And I also have memberships on the channel. So if you want to help the channel grow and put back into the channel, please help us out in that way because that's how we're able to buy this G Made Buffalo that we're putting together as a Christmas holiday build to give back to one of you lucky subscribers. So your money is never wasted if you choose to help out the channel. But let's get into the, the, the big dog, the subject of this, the Sin F450. You've seen what I've done to it, but today we're going to show something different. And what that difference is, you may notice. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. But if not, you may see a difference in the rear wheels. These are not plastic, fam. These are all aluminum dually wheels from the one and only H-Tech Custom. And I'm going to show you today how to assemble these dually wheels because it's a little bit complicated, a little bit involved, but not difficult at all. And again, they made up perfectly to the vehicle. They look great. They're all aluminum, high quality, and if you purchase anything from H-Tech, and if you've seen my previous videos, you know H-Tech Customs does not put out any junk. You're gonna get the best of the best for your install, and they're simple to do. But since this install is a little bit involved as far as your fastener placement, I wanna show you how to do it and install it on the Sin F450. You're gonna receive a set of all aluminum wheels from H-Tech Customs. I just have four in this packet, but you'll receive six of these aluminum wheels or a set of these RC four-wheel drive Dick CPEC 1.9 inch mud country scale tires. You may have seen me put these on the HGP 408 Hummer. Great tires, great tread, great look. They fit up perfectly with the wheels from H-Tech Customs. So if you want to do the exact same build and you'll know it's going to fit just right, get you a set of these RC four-wheel drive Dixie Packs, buy you a set of these H-Tech Customs. Stick around to the end of the video so you can see what it looks like. There may be something else too. So let's move over to the bench. All right, fam, laid out in front of you right now is everything that we need outside of all the fasteners. So I'll go over that in a second and the tires. But this is what you need to run the dually setup. Of course, you're going to have two of each to make that dually in the rear of your vehicle. You've got your ring for the center. You've got your front and reverse rings to, for the bead lock. You've got your dually adapter connectors in two different sizes. I'll go over that in a second. You also have your hex hub adapter and you have your center cap cover. Let's take a look at a few of the unique pieces of this wheel. Weigh it all so you know exactly what it's gonna weigh when you put it on your sin and then do the install. So first up is this center ring. And you may say uh, to yourself, Jay, this is center ring, no big deal, I've seen them before. Well, this is unique because this center ring is all one piece 
and it has all the female holes pre-drilled so you can lock the bead on your tire. This is not just the ring by itself and then you take the, the uh, front and the reverse bead lock rings and lock everything down. The front and rear outer rings are gonna lock into the center ring right here, as you can see on both sides, machined aluminum, very high quality, and again, I'll get the weight. So this is a new advancement, a new innovative look. Another thing I wanna point out real quick are these two items right here. Let me get a close up on my hand. All right, these are your dually connectors. You have two different size connector based off of the, the overall width and thickness diameter of the tire that you're gonna use. So HTEC is gonna include two different adapters so you can have enough room in between each wheel to accommodate for the thickness of the tire. So we have the two different size adapters, your larger adapter, which is this one right here. This larger adapter is gonna come in at about 18.94 millimeters, plus or minus, so that's your larger one, 18.94 millimeters, and the smaller dually adapter comes in at about 13.94 millimeters. So we have about a five millimeter difference in between both of these adapters. So let's take a look at a weight of all these parts, excluding the fasteners, so you know about how much you're putting onto your vehicle. All right, fam, so let's take a look at the entire wheel assembly, excluding the fasteners and the larger of the two dually connectors, and we're coming in at about 120.97 grams. All right, so that is everything, excluding the fasteners and the larger of the two dually connectors. So let's swap out the large dually connector, put on the smaller of the two, which you can see here, and the weight drops down to about 117.60 grams. So in essence, you have about a three, three and a half gram difference between the larger and the smaller dually connector. So fam, enough of all that. Let's go ahead and start the assembly so you can see how simple it is. And then we'll move back to the studio talk about a few more details. Let's get it. Okay, so we're gonna install this ring first, which I'm gonna call this the outer ring of the beadlock. And to install that, we're gonna need six M2 by 10 fasteners. That's it. So for this side, we're gonna use six M2, again, M2 by 10 fasteners to screw this down. I'm gonna go ahead and get that inserted and line it up. I've got it pretty much centered good enough for me, so I'm gonna set one fastener to ensure that I get a lock. I'm not gonna screw it all the way down. Gotta move it just a wee bit, there we go. And then I'll set the one directly across from it. So I've got two set, and I'm gonna go ahead and place the remaining fasteners into the wheel assembly. And again, if you wanna do the other side first, that's fine, doesn't make a difference, but I'm starting out with this side first, and I'm gonna start these but I'm not gonna fully seat them because I'm gonna do this in a star pattern to ensure that I've got even seating all the way around. So now I'm gonna pick one. And if I'm out of focus, I apologize. I'm gonna change that a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna pick one and then we're gonna start locking it down fully. I've got my um, clutch set on one on my drill so that I don't over tighten. One's good enough for me. We'll stop when it locks, and it does. There it is. Go on to the next. And we should be all nice and tight. Everything looks good. So when you get finished, your wheel should look similar to this, so we got one side down, and again, these are six M2 by 10 millimeter, millimeter fasteners for this side of the wheel. So we're gonna flip it around, do the other side with what I'm calling the wheel face, which is this piece here. All right, and we're gonna slide that in, line it up just like we did. Okay, so I've started my fasteners. I use a plus form, so I have one here, one across from it, one here, and one here so that I start the seating. Then I'm gonna start putting the rest of my fasteners in and do as much of a star pattern around so I can get even seating around the entire rim. And once we're done with that, we're gonna do 
the second rim the exact same. All right, fam, and once you're done, you'll have one wheel and tire completely assembled, and we're pretty much halfway done with the dually assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead, double check all my fasteners, fasteners to ensure that they're nice and tight and seated, and then we're gonna repeat this process and do another wheel the exact same way. We'll speed that up, put them together, and then we'll get out of here so we don't take up too much, too much of your time. All right, fam, now we're gonna take either one of our wheels. Doesn't make a difference because they're both the same. We're gonna take the smaller of the two, sorry for the focus, smaller of the two dually adapters. Again, this is the adapter that measures in at about 13.94 millimeters. And you wanna take your hex hub adapter that has the countersunk holes and it'll have six of those on there. Make sure you grab the correct one. It has countersunk holes to take into effect the head of the screw or the fastener that you're gonna use. So what you're gonna do is this. It doesn't make a difference which way you do this. You can take the dually side or the countersunk side, but just remember the countersunk side for the hex hub adapter is gonna go into the, we're gonna call it the hollow portion, all right, the portion of the wheel that does not have a, that has the, does not have the face. You're gonna take this countersunk hex hub adapter, slide it in and line up the holes as best you can. And I'm gonna show you that as a close up in just a second. Once you do that, you're gonna take the dually adapter on the opposite side, line that up with the holes as best you can. You're gonna to have to kind of eyeball this. I'm gonna do this off camera and then show you what it looks like with one of the fasteners in. So let me get that set up and come right Okay, back. so I've kind of got it set with just one of the M2 by 12 now, M2 by 12 fasteners. And you can see I've got the countersunk hex adapter with the countersunk holes. I've got one fastener in it, and that is connecting the dually adapter that is on the back side in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the remaining uh, two, four, five fasteners and then we'll move on to the next step. And I'll give you a look at, see what that looks like too. Okay fam, so in a nutshell, this is what you're gonna have. We're gonna call this the plain wheel and tire, which in essence is just a wheel and tire, no adapters or fasteners on it. So you'll have one of those. Then you'll have the dually coupling tire, which is the tire, wheel, hex hub adapter, and dually adapter, which basically is extending the axle out, so to speak to compensate for both wheels. And you're gonna take your wheels and you're gonna line them up and this will all connect once we put it onto the SIN F450. So this wheel is gonna go on first, it's gonna slide right in, boop, made up to the hex head, which that's why we have the hex adapter on this side. And then we're gonna take the opposite facing wheel, take this face, slide it right on, and lock it down with the correct fasteners. And I'll show you those in a second. So let's go grab the SIN and get it set up.
All right, fam, so I sort of pre-prepped this side. I've removed the wheel. You will have to remove this adapter for the send wheels and tires if that's what you still have on yours. Simply remove the seven millimeter bolt and take the adapter off. Piece of cake, throw that to the side, save it just in case you ever wanna go back to your stock setup. So now you wanna take one of your wheels, which is the one with the, I know it's with that, with the dually adapter on it, that goes on first. There's your hex. That's gonna slide right in place. So we'll get that all set up. Twist a little bit till I feel it lock on that, and it did. Bingo, then we wanna take our, the hex of the lock nut, the lock hex, locking hex, and screw that back on. All right, so you're gonna keep some of the OEM factory parts. Once we get that down good and snug, we have one wheel on, as you can see, there again is the dually adapter. All right, right. Then you wanna take your remaining wheel, pop it on, line up your wheel spokes, then take uh, six M2 by 12 fasteners along with the wheel cap cover right here. Piece of cake, there it is, let me get that focus in. And you wanna line everything up, run your fasteners through the wheel cap cover, that'll lock down the second or outer wheel to the inner and you'll be done. So I'll do that real quick, come back and wrap successful up. assembly and an install video for these H-Tech Customs Dually Wheels for the SIN F450. Very simple, kind of complicated in where you're supposed to use what fastener and that's why I have to apologize again. Remember, for the outer and inner rings of both wheels, you're gonna use the M2 by 10 fasteners, not M2 by 10 on one side, M2 by 12 on the other, M2 by 10 fasteners, and then of course M2 by 12 to secure the wheel cap, or excuse me, the locking hex nut cap cover to the wheel, which locks everything, everything down. Very simple, very easy. Let me get a little close up again from the back side, so you can see those dually wheels. They look really good, they fit perfectly under there. Again, I'm using the Dick CPEC 1.9 Mud Country tires, perfect fit, looks very good, all aluminum, quality from H-Tech Customs, so you cannot go wrong. So the question you may have now is, why didn't I finish off the front like I did the rear? Well, it's simple, fam. I'm getting a custom color made just for me for this SIN F450. So there's no point in me putting all six tires and wheels on the vehicle because I'm gonna swap them out anyway. And that's where you come in. You guessed it, fam. My new custom wheels are being made right now. Once they come in, I'm gonna be giving away a set of these H-Tech custom aluminum, all aluminum, dually wheels for your SIN F450. That's right, you're gonna get six dually wheels, four for the rear, two for the front. No tires. I'm keeping the tires that I, that I have when I swap them out, but if you wanna use the same tires, some of these RC four-wheel drive, Dick CPEC 1.9 inch Mud Country tires, you will receive a set for the front that I have not assembled. I'm gonna leave the rears assembled just for you so that all you have to do is install your tires, lock the beads down, everything else is assembled and ready to go. One less step you have to do for the rear dually. So if you wanna get in, Of course, you have to be subscribed to this channel. Simple. Number two, as always, you have to comment below with a specific hashtag. And that hashtag that you have to place in is hashtag Dooley. That is hashtag Delta Uniform Alpha Lima Lima Yankee, D-U-A-L-L-Y. Hashtag Dooley, and you'll be entered to win a set of H-Tech Customs, all aluminum, that's six wheels duly set up for your SIN F450. Could you ask for more? I think not. So fam, again, thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you checking out another installation video. Big shouts out to my man over at H-Tech Customs. He's taking care of me. He's given me a lot of items to demo, install, and he's given me equally as many items to give away to our subscribers because we like to take care of you. 
So again, fam, thanks again for your time. Do you, be you, and above all, fam, above all, always be true. I am Jay of Jay Sinus Productions, exiting stage left. Jay Sinister Productions. Jay Sinister Productions.